in this video i'm going to show you how to create this beautiful customer order form and i'm going to show you how to create this form using just tables so in here i have one two three four five tables that i've inserted it's only the signature line which is a shape but any other figure you see in here are all tables so if you want to learn how to make this beautiful customer order form keep watching hello guys this is online office teacher where i help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing having said that let's jump into the video having launched word i will go to layout margins i choose narrow next i go to insert table and i choose two by one click in the first cell i enter my company's name Fuku Shito. enter I go to the next cell, then I enter my contact details. Enter email Fuku Shito at gmail.com. Location E extension three seven nine the sheet off from Changli Enter Tamali Northern Region. Then I come out of the table, hit enter. Now I'll type customer order form. Enter. I insert a new table. Table. I need two by five, meaning two columns, five rows. I click. email and then location okay i exit out of this table press enter i insert a new table so i go to insert table now i need four columns 12 rows but here i can only get a maximum of eight rows so i'll insert a table columns four then rows twelve okay the first cell I have item description followed by unit price quantity and then amount okay I exit out of the table enter and i'll type terms and conditions enter i'll insert a new table only one column then i open it up i'll exit the table hit enter enter again then signature enter and the last table insert table only one cell thank you for doing business with us okay 
so everything is been laid out now it's time to format my tables so going up i'll select the name of my company i'll make it bullet then i'll increase the font size okay and in here i want to align it to right and i'll go to table tools under layout i'll choose align center right then here align center left and i'll increase the height of the table 1.5 inches now i'll increase the name of the company in here again after highlighting i go to home then i can grow fonts okay i want it in two lines perfect all right i think this is nice now customer order form i will highlight it bold center then i will change the case to upper case and increase the size to 20. inside the second table i will bold other information after highlighting click on bold change the case to upper case then i'll do the same thing to customer info so in here if i don't want to repeat the process i'll just highlight this one click on format painter and my mouse pointer will change to a brush so i'll just highlight this and it is done then i can go and change the case all this i need them bold and then in here bold now the next table the whole of this row i'll highlight it by just clicking beside the first row click bold change the case to upper case and then here only this cell i'll go to layout and change it to align center left and then the rest of this will be align center and i'll increase the height to 0 0.5 inches okay under the heading of this table i'll count down to the ninth row so one two three four five six seven eight nine in here i want to put payment information colon i will change i to capital highlight it and make it bold next down half bank account name i think i need another cell down here so my insertion point is in the last row i just go to table tools and the layout then i click insert below to get a new row so in here i have account number so going to the right from payment information above one cell i enter sub total in the next cell down maybe discounts so that i can give my customers some discounts i'll say into brackets 10 percent next i have that and then finally i have grand total okay maybe i can input some values here just to keep the place busy so 0, 0.00 .00. so i'll copy this after highlighting ctrl c 
allow the rest of the cells control V to paste at once. I'll allow everything to write and they should be bold. I'll bold here too. Okay. And make here capital letters. So go to change case, upper case. Terms and conditions, I'll highlight it and make it bold. Then the last table, I will just select it, go to layout, align center, now increase the height to 0.5. I change the case to upper case, and also make it bold. Signature, I want to insert a line so that whoever is going to sign can sign on top of the line. So I go to shapes. And the lines I choose line and I'll just drag a line to get a perfect line I'll hold down shift key on the keyboard and I think this is cool I change the color to black I want to change the background color of this first row here so I highlight everything and I go to design and the table tools shading I mm -hmm. think I'll use blue, then I'll change the font color to white. Sorry, I'll drop down the arrow white. Then I'll do the same thing for grand total. I'll highlight everything, change the color to white. It has disappeared then I'll go to design and then choose the blue shading I'll do the same thing for thank you so I'll just select it it's just one cell and I click on the shading and I go to home and change the color to white okay the color has affected only the thank you the tank so I'll go back choose white so changing font color, you have to highlight the whole of the text you want to apply the color to. The outline here, I don't need it. So the table is six, so the table is still selected. I go to design, then borders. I go to no border. Next thing I want to do, I want to clear some of these cells in here to make my table neat. For this particular table so first things first I'll just select this cell and I go to design borders um, left border so that I'll take out the line here I'll do the same thing to right border perfect Next, I want to remove the whole of these lines here. So I'll highlight everything. Borders. Then I first of all choose inside. Then I'm there with the line up here. So I'll go to borders. Top border. Go back there. Bottom border. Perfect. Now I want to clear everything under payment information, but payment information will be maintained in each cell. So I highlight the whole of this. Go to borders. I can just choose no border. Then I select this, the first cell up there. Then go to borders and then bottom border. Very neat. Now down here, I don't need these two cells, so I'll just highlight it, go to borders, I'll first of all choose inside borders, and then finally, okay, not finally, let me choose outside borders, then I'm left with, see that down here 
it has taken off the border there so i'll highlight the two cells up here go back then choose bottom border perfect i think everything is neat now let me zoom out okay so my customer order form is done so this is how you can use tables to create a form just like this one this is just an idea you can use to create whatever forms you want to create using tables i hope you found value if you do please hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel just like this one you'll be the first to know keep watching and we will talk soon